Hello everybody, my name is Casey and welcome back to what is going to be the final episode of my playthrough of The Suicide of Rachel Foster. If you haven't seen the other four videos, there's a playlist in the description, a link to it, more specifically. I don't know why I can't talk ever, but yes, go there now, watch, video, do it. <laughs> Day 8, we're back. Nope, hate this. I, I already hate this. Dang, I lost two vibes and I am not a fan. Nope. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, can I close my eyes again and not come back? Can I play the piano at least? I can't even play that one. Oh, zoom. Um. I can't pronounce, I'm sorry. I can't pronounce that. I'm not gonna try. People stay here for the night though. What the fuck happened here? What the fuck happened? Can I leave? Can't leave. No, there's a door. I'm, I'm just full of stupid. Now, that is scary, and I don't like it. But I probably have to go this way. Fuck that. No, 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 no. -uh. No. Fuck you. I ain't dealing with that. It is angry outside. I don't know why I'm sorry. I'm just like... I can't just not do anything, right? Okay. I'm just going there. I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna go fuck. Boy, well, I want to fully explore that fucking place. And you know what? There was fucking nothing. I'm gonna cut. Man, why is there a cook room? Gee. Weird. Why was I down there? What the fuck? That's not okay. That is not okay. I fucking refuse. I fucking refuse, man. That is not okay. That is, that is, that is... That is gross. Why was I down there? What was the game plan? I'll tell you what the game plan was. Nothing. Fucking nothing. It's like you are asking to die, Nicole. Literally. Like, what the fuck? That is fucking stupid. That's the shit. Don't know why it left me anyway, and then it fucking... Irving? Merry Christmas, Nikki! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. Like... In the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No! Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. 
One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Uh, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. What are you trying to I say? forgot all about it. <laughs> then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that. Should have done the church of scary because it oh, is. Uh, Irving? Yeah? I like that you call me Nikki. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nikki. I like that. These guys are having a good friendship, and I, I support that. I don't know why, but I keep on forgetting it's toggle sprint. I keep on holding it. Oh, hold on. Uh, hi. I, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. So you're excluding the idea that I received our Lord's calling in the dream? I never thought about that. <coughs> Sister Nicole doesn't sound bad at all, though. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. <laughs> all right, all right. So, oh, I like if it. I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think I she found shit. gratification in doing that. Something she didn't get okay. elsewhere. At home in including room. the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Kind of fundraising? You know. God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking a part and refitting a motorcycle in less than half oh, an yeah, hour. I just, I would just stay in my room. In the same place. half hour, Christmas she could time. have audited a business anything. balance sheet. I'm boring. I think I'll hold her. Turn to video games, or woman. books, mm, or music. No. Do you also just what play in the forest music some days? in such proximity to her is that mom loved feeling needed. Yeah. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. <sighs> oh, yeah, th this is weird. Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for Mountain Wanderers. Goddamn sons of... Oh, I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's fucking creepy. I don't like that. I don't like that very much. I mean, it's nice of a, uh, you know... Nikki? When there was around. a party, my mother always got out the usual but streamers still. and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church. Gonna have some water, keep the hydrated everybody. She kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million you know, it's times. I'm playing this. She didn't want uh, to answer. Still time. She said they were in a safe place. God. A real mystery. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of decorations what, could what they possibly be? It? It, it is March it is March 12th. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over still the place very and much forgetting winter, what time said, it was. Here in Canada. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. <laughs> she used to get so mad. Still cold as shit. <laughs> that is my cold. girl. They like promised to reveal the secret outside, storeroom when when got I'm older, bad. but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the How do you say you're from Winnipeg without Ooh, saying you're from Winnipeg, good. other than just the acting riddle. miserable because you got stabbed? What are you talking about? <laughs> Leonard was never good at keeping secrets. I was born here, what's your excuse? Get there. <laughs> Can you remember? Uh, yeah. Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like, down the stairs, watch your step. Don't fall apart, or it's your end. Round a corner, turn around. There's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? 
How... it's... I... I... Wow. Total mystery. Wanna play? Riddles? Uh, I... yes. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. Riddles, I'll, I'll call man? you if anything comes to mind. First, I have to worry about my butthole being an Audi, which I probably should go see a doctor. But at the same time, riddles on my broom. My broom. <laughs> you want to play the organ in a church in the middle of the night? Really? You heard that? Hey, what are you doing there? Don't know. I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. <laughs> I'm a Phantom of the Opera fan. It's been years since anyone played it. My mother's heart would break to see it like this. She adored it. Uh, you should take it with you. To play it. In Portland. You're better off listening to a cat in heat than my scales. Well, Ooh. you can always pick it up again. Even if I don't think it's crucial. I mean, playing the organ. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to my mom. Essential part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then, there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. <laughs> Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house. If Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. Was she so perfect? Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. Keep looking. <laughs> well, that's fucking... That's fuck. <laughs> well, that sort of is exciting. Whoa. Yay. You know, I don't often, uh... Oh, that would make sense. Oh, shit. Well, this is horrible. What the f <laughs> <laughs> Me when I wake up in the morning to look at the mirror to brush my teeth. <laughs> oh shit. So, found the mystery decorations? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. Oh. I. It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you'd see. Okay. I... Uh, there's some this windows. Is just depressing. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet like music. Books. A pink bed. Uh, well, you got it's pencil or like a, a kid's room. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. I don't know, man. I think my base learned something. I think you should get out of there now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to. Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room, a, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. Y you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. Or make the call. Did you get out of there? You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe? Uh, there was an article saying they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. 
Ugh. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. Well, that's no fucking creepy. Way. I, I can't. Let me go on. Well, that's fucking creepy. I don't like the teddy behind me. Up. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out there right now. No. I found a key. It's from my old music box. The one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think? Someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was I'm, I'm having a fucking anxiety now. attack right now, I, I think. Need to my heart's the fucking... to figure out mm. what the hell is going on. Or... Oh, I have anxiety. This game's not helping me any much. God, my heart. I don't know if I can. Oh, God. I don't know if I can take this. This is going to be a quicker way to it, right? Why would I go through here? I mean, I guess there's enough. I'd just grab a ladle and be done with it yes. for myself. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're going to say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a... more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why... Why all of oh, this... Oh, you Get the cops here. With the sheriff. Literally. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen. A bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a dead line. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for 10 years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. Literally! We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. You don't know if it's there. true. You realize what that means? What? What are you trying to tell me? This still makes me feel safe. He spent years in there. In total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel in his conscience, he, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. I can't believe you said something like that. Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you! My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old, but f fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, mm. I met him and... I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that... If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. You don't have to be so rude to him. I understand you're in a place. And it was, I mean, your father was coming with a 16-year-old when he already had a kid. and He was already, you know, old enough to, you know, uh, uh, walk and go to school and all that. Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Oh, finally, a bit of peace and quiet. You're it's so stupid. You should. Okay. Incessant phone calls. I was just trying. Not a fucking trying... switchboard, for fuck's sake. You done? Okay. Let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. The wind is Maybe going. Maybe with whoosh, items from her whoosh. real room. Holy Jesus, Not exactly that's freaky. like that, but you know what I mean. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. I'm starting to then like her. The lipstick from ten years ago turns out still good, ring. and then. 
I understand the message, but bring the cops in the walls, man. Her. Like, have more people up here that if you can, that were true, you know, it might explain trust, the even if it's just, like, a little bit. At least it goes a long way instead of just being this creepy and now fucking... now I find her retainer box. Shit. No retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel Why would didn't kill a sixteen-year-old girl make a replica Rachel room of that? Here. But this if she's still alive, 80s, I mean, I why doesn't know. she tell but her still, parents? Like, why would... <laughs> Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide. No Timberline money. No, 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 no. I'm just being paranoid. And then was a there'd creep. be no reason for her to live Wait, in a fucking really underground that. replica of her room. Being up here on Little Mountain definitely will, uh, especially by yourself. Stuff. That Is one's great. That one's just, that one's just sad. That is, that is just mood. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. This is, this is stupid. This is stupid. I, I, I'm i just upset now. We could have left. We could have left. It have been smart. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Missoula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers... That was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. The voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes oh, down boy. the stairs with suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Oh, boy. Mom's car stays here, and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? All right. Learned some things, apart from the fact that I knew she was very hot-headed. Um, the stupid... <laughs> I would definitely get the fuck out of it. Like, that would be my first thought, is just, it might prior like, I know the mystery could be very intriguing and all that kind of stuff, but at the same time, um, being alive is kind of great. Uh, I mean, sometimes it sucks, but that's just how it goes, you know? And I feel like in a situation like this, where something like that happens, where it's like a replica of a little girl's room, that's a red flag. I feel like that's a red flag. Also, just standing here is a, is a red flag. Irving. Finally. I'm okay. I was dying on this chair. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this story, then it's gotta be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know, I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me. To show this them is to me stupid. under this is so another bad. light. I don't like Who this. Talking about, Nikki? <sighs> Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. Uh, I'm not letter anymore. It all sounds insane. The it night does. Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. 
I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. This is stupid. I hate this thing. I don't like here. I... Was I just told to get out? Because I would fucking love to. If I'm being honest, Rachel, if that's you talking to me, I would like to get the fuck out of here. But lady here, buddy over here, is just like, oh, no, 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 Oh my god, why am I here? Oh my god. Uh, uh, where do I even go? What's here? What's even here? Where is pictures missing off the wall? Is there anything even here? Yeah, how is it still dying if it... That's creepy in itself, let me be honest. Where do I fucking go? Where do I go? What is it point? No. No. No, no, no. Ah. What's the map button? Where is the mezzanine? It's right above, it's above me. What am I doing? Fucking dummy. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Oh, fuck that. Fuck that. All right. Hi. How's it going? This is terrible. Irving? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. There's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? It's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? Done. But Done. Why my hockey stick? Done. Hello? Hello? Oh god, why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. Alright, I'm hearing things. Hi. I'm just gonna pretend you don't exist. I'm supposed to. Do, do, can I leave? Thank you. Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What? What? Are you... are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving. What the fuck? You can't see my face right now, but my expression is just... Hmm... No, I, I don't want that. You know, it's a, it's a time like this that I really just don't like what's going on. I don't like this. 
I'm not a fan. Hello? I imagine you found my room. What the fuck? What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered every... What the fuck? Every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo. A hairband. A lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. No. You I don't say. Had to do it. I mean, you didn't have to do anything. What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. What did I Under do, the though? Boards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins. You, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. That says Some that fucking got had me. to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve this the This is all so much information I and I am just... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Why hunting for here? memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... We did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. What do you, you want to do want? now? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. Okay. His father. That's fair. Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. Okay, piece of shit. All right. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. Ah. His wonderful sister. A ah. heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and oh, strong yeah. man he would become one day. I see that. Oh. She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. I, I know what retard meant uh, a lot. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect People her. tried calling me retard when I was in school, and I was just like, yeah. But I couldn't. <laughs> One day, and that beautiful, <laughs> luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply. Oh, uh, creepy. Love. It's still creepy. Nothing yeah, more, nothing less. It doesn't matter. It's, it's but that creepy. that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. Yes, uh. it's true. I hated her. But I was just a jealous kid. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. Exactly. You should just move on then. I've forgotten you. I was raised to be forgotten. What do you want from me? 
the day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We <sighs> because of this, history, this is a lot. This game turned into a lot. I mean, it was already a lot, but it was just like fucking you, oozing out everywhere. Got frozen there, like a snow here. In that very moment, in that confined horizon of events, <sighs> as you'll understand, as yep. you've already begun to understand. Yeah. For the first time in years, I depended on someone. And this is the result. Yeah. I have to keep going to get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. I don't want to be, though. You owe it to us. I don't know you shit. And you owe it to I was just a kid when it happened. I was just a kid when... I was already waiting here. Joke's on you. You bitch. I like... I, man, it's always the ones that I like at first. God... Damn it. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you Not how bad. you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. Her face. Mm. We tried. Mm. We waited. He put it in my pockets. We were terrified. I always have it there for later in case I get listened. hungry and scared. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I mean, you don't know I that. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside huh. with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Can't. Stars still yeah, emanate their light even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light in death. Yeah, that's what the hell goes. myself of all this darkness. Can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. Well, figure out what Rachel is saying, Nikki. She's here. It's set it up top before it even. Well. Again. I don't feel like I did anything. Or maybe I did. Maybe maybe Nicole's just a butthole. I don't know. She certainly acts like a butthole. Oh, meditation up here. Got some drawings. Got some nice artwork. She really was talented. All right. Well, that was great. Irving, I'm just saying, if you're here, I'm gonna punch you in the deck hole. I might, quite possibly, even scream in it. 
And if you try to do anything to me, it's gonna be like a like a, like a pterodactyl thing, getting vacuumed up. Like a... <coughs> that didn't scare me. I knew something was gonna happen. I'm fine. I'm totally brave right now. I'm also just angry. Hello. I feel betrayed. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You yeah. don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the, truth, the, way. the truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. <clears throat> I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen, I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. I'm going the wrong way again. I really don't learn. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us, and you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. I didn't read it. I, didn't even read it. I was just trying to open the door. <laughs> one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. It's time you stop talking to riddles, Riddle Master. I'm just trying to fucking... fucking... Figure this shit out. I don't fucking know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of existing right now in this mortal plane. You know, just I've been eating beans for like a week and a half, maybe more. I don't know. That's been a long time, and I just want this to be over. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all this. This is bullshit. Don't get me wrong. Kids could be assholes, but like this, this is even the way. In the boiler room. You know, it takes me to the garage, I don't give a shit. As much as I hate that, it gets me into the garage. Oh, blanket. Wash it. Okay. Where's the laundry room? Well, the room's right here. So that means this down here is the one. Down here is the laundry room, right? Over here, the laundry room? Not that. You know what? Aha! Laundry. Sink. Well. That's great. Oh God. How could I have forgotten? I 
I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family, you and Rachel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look. It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous Wah. animal. I've never seen her like that before <laughs> or not that, after. Not, not that disturbed. Not even on her deathbed. No. And then... She put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. Well, probably didn't want to feel like dealing with that. The impression of a moment, probably wanted you to have some fun I had the finals against Cold before Springs you had to go through the me. bullshit that is everything else. Throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. That's fucked up. Go on. Oh. I... I don't... Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. I... I mean, you know... I was on the bleachers encouraging me, Like it could start piecing cheering. it together. Just and a little bit. Sight of her. For two Probably helps not looking into a blood rule sink. And later when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... Uh. <laughs> oh... I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket. God. <laughs> you know, I take everything back as said by being creepy. I mean, he was, she but like, she just murdered Rachel. a girl. Oh, boy. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> oh, I see. All right. Well, you've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. Well, her mom's You're already dead. You didn't know that Claire. I was only a kid. Plus, she God, never wanted me up. to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is is here you know I I think she's still protecting me but I'm grown up now now we can all be reunited at last what wait where are you going listen we can work things out what happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Literally everyone's dead. gone. We are still alive. Dead. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. Get better. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We you were kids. Anything. You were kids. Literally kids. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times. But Where are you? I never thought it was so. Where the fuck are you? What? 
Irving, where are you? It's white as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You... You left the hotel? But... It's too cold, you'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... And go back... To her. Don't... Don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my... Tough... Pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. Yeah. And another time. Yeah. This horizon of events. All right. Everything is. Is what? Irving? Is what? Irving? My mind's are broken out. Like his body. I don't want to stay alone here. I, I, everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm. Ah, who's there? Rachel? Is that you? Nope. Nope. Mm. Nope, we're gonna blur with this shit. Nope. If I don't see you, you're not there. If I don't see you, you're not there. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how it works. I don't see you. Yes? If all it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I've tried. Oh, hi. I hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch it. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well. Just how cold her voice is. Holy. Well, you're the owner. Fuck. You've got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision... I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. Well, that's just... I don't think she's paying a fee, dude. I don't, yeah, I don't think she's... I don't think, I don't think your fee's getting paid. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us. What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. <sighs> Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. Oh my God. <laughs> did all that you asked me. Stop it, please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. You said that. I'm scared. You... I... I don't want to die. It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't. The light.
this year done. Mom, we'll bring back the Timberline to its fortune together. We oh. will be happy again, all together. Yes. Like a whole family. No more anger. She didn't finish her sentence. <laughs> but, anyway. Um, I did like this game. For the most part. I think, gameplay-wise... The sprinting feature, like the whole the movement, was still pretty slow, and that's probably where people probably think this is kind of like a walking simulator, which in a sense it is, but it has a little bit more to offer, I think, than most walking sims. Uh, more so in the story, as it unravels. It's a bit of a slow start, but I, I do feel like it picked up pretty good, especially like in terms of like the videos that I made in all five parts, like part three really fucking picked things up a lot. Uh, other than that, like this, the spookiness was pretty there. Like I understand I'm a little bitch uh, when it comes to horror, but I definitely feel like the atmosphere was pretty good for this for this game in terms of the horror element. Just in the suspense part of it, ultimately I feel like this is more of a thriller, so to speak. But not really, like, it's a very, like, soft thriller. That does not make any sense, except in the context of this game. <laughs> but, ultimately, gameplay, it was fine. It, you know, it paced well with the story and how it was going. I'm happy that picked up as well. The twist at the end was fucking fantastic. If I actually would have paid attention more, I probably could have seen it coming. There was definitely hints, there was definitely foreshadowing. Like, I, I, Nicole probably has been called Nikki by other people in her life, but I feel like in the video uh, that she was being shown and her father called Nikki and, you know, the the part before, like, the, the days before Irving started calling her, I feel like that was, like, a little little bit of, like, a hint, so to speak. Uh, it might be a long shot, I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's just my two cents on it, on, on that part. Like, I don't want this to be my critical review and, and, and that kind of in that kind of way. I, I thought that it handled the aspect of what suicide is pretty good in the context of, you know, it took place in the 80s, so things are way different than they are now, and what it does to the family and, you know, families, all the people that are involved who are attached to the person who took their own life. I thought they got a job. Like, it just fucking destroys everything. It's a domino effect, and it does affect a lot of people, and I think it did a good job of showing that was the whole plan of Irving really fucking stupid and harsh? Absolutely. Nicole was a kid uh, when this all happened. She had no fucking clue. Could she have connected the dots as a 16 year old? Probably. Could have, could have known some things, but something huge, some huge life event happening. You're going to be focused on that, especially as a kid. Like, we're all kids once. There was, you, everyone had that one thing they were looking forward to. Like, that's the only thing you're thinking about. So other things are happening in the background, like, it's just, they're blurry, right? Hopefully you enjoy this. I enjoyed playing this game all the way through. So if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more Let's Plays, especially in, like, scary games and stuff like that, because I'm completely down uh, to do more Let's Plays, and especially in horror games, if you want me to. So let me know what you thought of this game in the comment section down below. You already know how I feel, uh, that I feel like Rachel deserved more sympathy than she got through writing. Uh, I feel like that could have been written better. Hopefully you understood that. I'm um, 100% on Rachel's side. Uh, and that I th honestly, that Nicole, I feel like, could have lived. <laughs> I feel like that's the other side of it, too. As Like, Nicole was played perfectly. Like, she went from everywhere. And I appreciated that. As much as a hard, you know, hard time I gave her, I did like Nicole. I liked her. I thought she was great overall. Uh... And she was all over the place, like, dealing with all this bullshit that she had to deal with. Like, mentally, that was, that was just a fucked up situation for her to be in in the first place. Uh, so I appreciate that. And hopefully, uh, you know, in a different timeline, <laughs> that everything ended up being a little bit better for her. And she doesn't just die the way she did. Because uh, I feel like she didn't, that, need, that didn't need to happen at all. Um, but other than that, please have a fantastic day. Take care.